Hey everybody, this is Arturo. This is my new video for this week. This is a piece I worked on for the character design challenge on a group on Facebook. I've done uh, a few pieces for this particular challenge and I hadn't participated in a few months. But this month, the theme was Norse gods. And uh, I don't know, it, it, it seemed interesting. It seemed like something cool to participate in. Um, like I showed at the beginning of the video, I wanted to do my take on uh, Thor, the god of thunder, from Norse mythology, not necessarily the, the version from uh, Marvel Comics. So I had to look into uh, a bit of the history of the character. Uh, some quick videos on YouTube, that's, that's the wonderful thing of YouTube, that you can learn all sorts of stuff real quick. Even if the information's wrong, you'd be like, ah, oh, that's interesting. Anyways, uh, this is my take on the character. I made a few thumbnails, uh, and I was really happy with all three, you know? Uh, all three uh, takes on the character were were inspiring, were, were exciting for me to, to take on, to try to, to develop to, to a finished state, to take to final. But I had to come to a decision. I even asked my wife and she's like, I like all three. I mean, so you decide. Uh, all right, so, so I decided to go with the second interpretation. Even though the third one was, was really cool, I, I really liked how the, the, the frost giant came out. It was a real interesting design for, for, for the character. Uh, and I might... I might develop the, the other two interpretations just, just to explore different styles, to explore different techniques of, of taking the character to, uh, to a more presentable state. Uh, I recorded this process uh, this afternoon. It took what, uh, like a little over an hour, uh, and a bit more. I'm, Let's say it was two hours to, to do this whole thing. And uh, it, w it was a real fun, real fun exercise. Like I said, if you haven't participated in the character design challenge, I recommend that you do. If you like character design, if you like uh, to try out new things in, in, in art, you'll be like, they'll give you some topics that'll be like, what, what the hell is that? And you'll have to investigate and and handle it or, or think of it as a professional job. I mean, how would you, in, in the best of your ability, interpret this project? If somebody hired you to do it, how would you do it? You know? So. This goat that he has, I think this one is Tooth Nasher. I think that's, it's, it's either Tooth Grinder Something like that, and Tooth Nasher, his goat. Uh, and I found an image on Pinterest of a, of a, a ram that was really cool. So I was like, mm, yes, I have to include this. I liked the stylization for the, for the lightning. It was, uh, it was real cool. It's cartoony, I mean, it's, it doesn't have to be realistic. You, you can... That, that's what you learn working in this in this field that a lot of really great artists uh, the, the ones that I admire anyways they they design everything you know they design every little thing around the character everything fit is goes through a particular filter and that's the really cool thing, you know, you, you don't just do the character and forget about the background or forget about every little ornament or, or jars of clay or, or whatever boxes that everything has to go through that, that stylized filter, you know, and it gives you, like I said, a particular point of view, you know, it gives you that's what people are interested in your interpretation and they'll be like, let's see how you visualize our character or our take on, let's see your take on, a, on an Egyptian god and you'll be like, oh, okay, all right. You look at the reference, you look at the different 
cultural things, you're gonna be like, all right, I'll try this, I'll try this, I'll try that. As you can see, the character is a redhead because I think in the Norse mythology originally he, he has red hair and uh, I wanted to stick with that. He, he has quite a, a bit of a temper, so I wanted to reinforce that with the lightning, with the colors that I was going to use for the lightning. I wanted to try something non-traditional for the lightning because you constantly see blue lightning, you know. And there's this image that uh, a, re a really great uh, fantasy artist called Kekai Kotaki did uh, a couple of weeks ago that he shared that showed fiery lightning. And I was like, oh, you know, that, was, that was really, really inspiring. And I was like, I'm gonna have to use that for this. Uh, I got stuff, you know? So check him out on Instagram, Kekai Kotaki. Uh, he's a really, really fantastic uh, illustrator. Uh, I love his work. I've loved his work for, for years and years. Anyways, um, like I said, I wanted to go with that fiery lightning to reinforce his temper, reinforce his, his violent and uh, anger. His violence and his anger. You know, and the style and the stylization I used for, the, for this take is, is um, not so cartoony obviously it's 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 more comic booky but it's not uh in an animation sort of way it's more like a video game type thing and i really liked how that thing because the the texture that you saw that i applied a, a couple of minutes ago it's actually ice that i inverted i was playing on with the layers playing along with the layer styles and I had this ice texture because I was going to go originally with, all right, let, everybody's doing blue, let's try blue. But then I, I did command I and it inverted, inverted the colors and the layer style was like hard light or something. And I was like, oh, oh yes. So I, I, I definitely went with that. that. That definitely reinforced my decision to go with, with the, the fiery lightning. And these details that, that, that I added later on, I was like, ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. That's, that's the wonderful thing about discovering these things. You're trying something out and it really works and it really, you know, rekindles your, your excitement for the piece. Because as you're working on it, I mean, working on a sketch can be really fun, but rendering and coloring sometimes, for me particularly, is like a bit like, ugh. Because I'm not, I'm not that comfortable doing it. You know, I know that those are where my limitations lie as an artist. So I try to focus on my strengths, so to speak. Obviously, you have you envision something and you want to see it taken to final. So I say, let's give it a try. But. Um, if you ask me honestly, I mean, what do you prefer, Arturo? I'd, be like, uh, I'd like to sketch it and focus on the sketches and let the experts take it to final and render render the hell out of it because they they are far better at it than me. That doesn't mean I will not keep trying it, you know? Later on, I, I flip the image and I notice how my left hand is favored and how every single like brush stroke, like you can see right now, is skewed. And you'll be like, ay, 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 ay. I need to fix that. I should have flipped the, um, the canvas much earlier.
You can see that on the ground texture, how everything is like at a angle to the left. Alright. Gotta fix that. Anyways, this is the final image. You can find it at the Character Design Challenge and on my art station and Instagram account and everywhere that I post my art. <laughs> I'm really happy with this piece. I'll probably, I hopefully will share some more, hear more pieces from my character design work. Subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more videos. I'll probably post more soon. Take care. Bye-bye.